Good evening and welcome back once again. If you joined us in the last video, we had a magnificent 5-0 win at home. But now into a massive match, the semi-final of the Copa del Rey against Villarreal. Let's jump in to see who will be starting for the biggest match of our career so far. Really good news. Everyone that we want fully fit and on good form is. So this is our traditional starting 11. And this is what we're going to go in with. Fabio Vieira, the captain, leading the line. Can he get us into our first final? And here we are at the semi-final, playing inside the new camp. Beautiful, beautiful stadium. And these players must be nervous. And anyone that knows, I have noticed that the Copa del Rey, it always seems to be played at a neutral ground in this. I'm sure that's not true in real life. Now, maybe when it gets to the semi-finals, and then obviously the final will be a neutral ground, that's fine. But even the earlier rounds, it never seems to be played either home or away. It's just at a neutral ground. I'm sure that's not the case. Um, but if you do know, drop a comment down below. I love the Villarreal strip, it's a, it's a really nice strip. I mean, I like ours as well, our three strips. Probably the second strip, which is the sort of red, reddish pink colour is my favourite. And uh, these lines, so they're going with a 4-4-2. The, uh, the old guy in the back is Pepperina. God knows how old he is now. And the high flyers of our team, the youngsters, who have been dominating the league this season. But semi-final of a cup is a different matter. Let's see how we get on. It's a big match. We've just come off a massive win as well. Can we keep our great streak going? The confidence high. Don't even want to think about who we may sort of play in the final if we get there we've got to get through this we've pretty much oh, I'm a form behind already what a start for Villarreal not the one we were looking for got to remember when we played Real Madrid even though we didn't let in a goal that first 20 minutes were just unbelievably just trying to get used to the quality of a the first division team was scary. And they've just cut us apart. Nice play. And a really nice finish. Not Nothing really the keeper could do. But we're starting from the back foot. Certainly not what we wanted. But Mudrick would be enough to scare any team. Zixi. Good block there. On a good tackle from Marcas. We got fouled, but he managed to keep it anyway. Mudrick may be trying too much. And then Teixeira loses out. Well played Teixeira. I know it went out in the end, but we don't want to be hit on the counter-attack. Being one hill town scary enough already, so we, we can't afford to let in another. Good tackle for Marcus there. He's not really there to break up play. He's there to create, but doing his job. Everyone's going to have to be on on pretty much form today. Oh, Costano, what are you doing? What a save. I just thought that was 2-0. As soon as it went through, I thought, this is it. Then this is our chances looking extremely slim now. 
but Schubert, who has been so reliably good in goal. Some games, he's, some games he's been unbelievably, you know, outstanding, just making world class saves, and that was one of them. But this is what we wanted, wanted to test ourselves against the big boys and uh, can see how difficult this is going to be. Good header there. Well wide and over, managed to close him down. Yeah, we're not used to this weather ones normally dominating, so it feels a bit strange. Just need to remain calm. Remember that we are a very massive threat attack, attacking wise. We've got a great front three, good midfield. Madrid loses out though. He's to share it. Getting each other's way. <laughs> Come on, you need good communication today, guys. Mudrick. Oh, and it's just behind Mudrick, uh, behind Perez, and I mean only slightly. And they've got bodies back now. And it just goes out. It's our throwing though. I thought that would have been theirs. Here's Perez. Poor ball, and it's uh, offside anyway. It's a poor ball twice. Wrong time to play it, and he didn't even make the man anyway. Nice head about Herrera, though. Oh, he should have been able to get Xerxes through there. Good defending, but there was space. Xerxes wins the ball. Oh, they are strong and quick at winning the ball back. Nice tackle there. That's a foul. Got a little bit lucky there because he did foul him, but uh, he was going nowhere. I'm not going to bother watching the replay. Here's Perez. Looked out. Oh, deflects wide. The youngster. Don't think he scored for us yet. He's got a couple of assists. And he suddenly found himself inside the box and it deflected twice. Six, he couldn't quite get me end of it. Carlos Perez out muscled. Good tackle from the youngster, but again they're very, they're so strong. Even when you tackle them, they just keep the ball or win it back within milliseconds. Again, okay, nice tackle. Nice ball out wide from Vieira. They're so... <laughs> and I'll keep saying it, but they're so quick that just compared to other teams, that pass normally would have made it. Oh, and that wasn't a foul. That was a good tackle. And uh, we had a chance to, to get an counter attack there. that they're not given a free kick for that surely oh no
Transfer counterattack, maybe. Uh, no. There wasn't any support, to be honest. Oh, and there it is, half time. Very difficult half. And it wasn't just the one goal that we let in, you know, we we looked very uncomfortable out there. A couple of chances for Villarreal. And just looking straight at the stats. We still had slightly the majority of the possession, which I'm surprised at, but normally we're around about the 60% mark. It's going to be the most important half of our career so far. Goes without saying that we have to score. But it's uh, they still look really dangerous as well. So got that to worry with. Here's McDowell on the overlap. Nice ball into Xerxes. Oh, what a save that was from Rayner. He's not looking so old now, is he? Xerxes on oh, another save. Maybe I shouldn't have made that remark earlier. I wonder if he heard. Arcas, Vieira. Mudrick. Ah, and Arcas isn't quick enough. Well played, Sixy. 1-1. One, one. Carlos Perez. I couldn't even speak there for a second. Oh. I, I would deserve that. You know, the start of the second half, we've been on fire. Um, Pepe Reina made some great saves. Wonderful ball from Xerxes. That's what, you know, absolutely killed the defence there. Look at this ball. Splitting the defence between about two or three different defenders. Great first touch, but that finish after Pepe Reina has already just made a couple of fantastic saves. Had to get it right in the corner. Brilliant. But it's only 1-1. One, one. We're back level. We need to push on and we need to be careful. Um, they can cut us apart at any time, so... Ooh, come on, close them down. See if we can rattle them a little bit. I mean, they look pretty calm, don't they? Keep our shape, keep our shape. Great tackle from crossing over there. He had a couple of dodgy moments earlier on, but he's uh, played well since then. Vieira, star man, the captain. Would you just manage to keep the ball? And he's got it back again. Arcas. Oh, it's blocked. Of course it is. Got to play a loose ball there. And Perez is in. Sixy, 2-1 and the two of them link up again a mistake in the back we've been just hassling them for the last 5 or 10 minutes and it's finally paid off a loose pass just get in managed to tackle them thought about shooting there and passed it out wide Sixy. Ooh, cool as you like I, uh, I did wonder for a second whether I've made the right decision by passing it rather than shooting. Turn it all right. <laughs> Let's make some subs. We're just going to make the two substitutions. We're going to bring off Mudrick and Xerxes. We're going to bring on Bjerre and Harrington. Going to switch Carlos Perez up top, Bjerre on the right. And if you watch the last match, that worked really, really well with Harrington on the left as well. I thought about bringing on maybe Coalfield at right back or left back to give the others a rest. But no, we need our full strength out there. And I think the, the youngsters coming on, they can do a job as well. That big threat coming on as a sub. And a big moment for Bajer and Harrington, without doubt. The biggest 25 minutes of their lives so far. Oh, they're in here. Great tackle there from Mumrajic. And manages to get it back as well. 
Lovely ball from Harrington there. Carlos Perez is... Oh, he's not quite in, but he's still got the ball. Keep it safe, keep it safe. Keep closing them down. We're going to have some tired legs after this, but I don't care. Oh, massive space out wide. Oh, and I brought Schubert out at exactly the right time. Big call, and it worked. Out sp space out wide, though. Oh, it's just played slightly too strong from Carlos Perez. Vieira was in. But again, we're pressuring them. And Carlos Perez is in. Wonderful tackle. What a tackle that was. That would have been the game finished there. It must have come off Carlos Perez as well from the tackle. So I didn't think it did. Um, but it must have. Great header there. And another great tackle. Getting absolutely stuck into them. And uh, that was a terrible pass. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're flapping a bit. They're not playing like they were in the first half. Yeah, right now. Ooh, I thought that was a foul, but... Well won by Magic, but they've still got it. And just hoofed clear. Here's Harrington now. Carlos Perez. Ah, he's getting a shirt pulled, I'm sure. Carlos Perez. Oh. And Arcas wins it back. Not a good ball from Reina. Tixera. That's a poor ball. Way too close to the keeper, but he only punches it out. Here's Vieira. And that's our throw in. It's what we want. Don't know how many minutes of stoppage time there's going to be. God, I thought I said, tw I thought I said 22 minutes of stoppage time for a minute. I was panicking. Jeez. That would be a record, I think. Although in the World Cup there was uh, some numbers late, wasn't there? Anyway, concentrate. Carlos Perez. Harrington. And there it is. We're into the final. We've done it the hard way. Come from behind. And that is a thoroughly deserved win. Boy, was that hard work, though. And in the end, we had 58% possession. Nine shots with five on target. And they had five with four on target. But they looked very, very threatening. Schubert made some great saves, as did Pepe Reina for, for their side. You know, before we got that first goal, Pepe Reina made some magnificent saves to keep them in the lead. And uh, I, I was thinking that my uh, old guy between the post comment before the match was coming back to haunt me. And Xerxes, man of the match, to be honest, the whole team deserved it. But Carlos Perez and Xerxes linking up again really well. They've got a really good combination going. And subs, they may have only got five and sixes, but they did a job coming on. They hassled the opposition. They kept the lead going. And that's all that mattered at the end of the day. Getting that win and through to the final. And as you can see, we're playing Barcelona in the final. The biggest of matches. If you thought the Real Madrid match was big, this is colossal. Just to let you know briefly, we did get an offer in for Rice. It was a fairly low sum, but it was only just below his release fee. So we've decided to accept that. So he'll be leaving in the summer, but we'll be replacing him with potentially either a signing or some youngsters coming up and I just thought I'd have a quick look through the club performance because we're now rolled into April I mean clearly the bottom one the win against Villarreal was the, the biggest match of well our career so far and the highlight on there but just looking through it we managed to get five wins out of five let in a few goals but some high scores there I mean we've scored a minimum of two in each match Xerxes top of the goal rankings Harrington in there as well that's good for the youngster Xerxes, Perez, they had some magnificent games and their combination together is brilliant. 
But that's it for today, guys. Next match is against Granada, but what more can I say? Just such a, an entertaining and stressful match for me today. I thought after we went 1-0 down and they were through on goal, I thought this is it. We're going to be 2-0. There's no way we're going to come back from that against this team. And Schubert pulled out a magnificent save. And, and after that, we battled on and then we sort of dominated in the second half. You can see him saving in the background there. Yeah, really proud of the boys and... Let's hope we can do it in the final, but we've got a few more league matches in between the final and now, so let's keep our concentration, keep the wins going, keep up that confidence. But if you did enjoy, please like, drop a comment down below, and think about subscribing to keep updated with the channels. But I'll see you all next time. Cheers.